We are here to think deeper. A Christian's role, a Christian's responsibility, a Christian's uh, responsibility to contribute to the work of the church starts when? It starts at baptism. This might be a, a much different discussion, but I think a lot of a lot of the issues are as well that we 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 push young people towards baptism maybe a little bit too quickly. By that I mean we do a poor job explaining to them once you become a Christian, once you're immersed in the waters of baptism, your your role, your responsibility, your not burden, that's not the right word, but your responsibility ratchets up tremendously. It's not something where the only change that we see is that you're now taking the Lord's Supper. It should be a life change. It should be a transformation. And again, it, it obviously depends on the maturity of young people, but how many 11 year olds are truly ready for that transformation? What you need to, what, what we need to do a better job of communicating to young people is from the time that you're baptized, you have a responsibility to contribute to the Lord's church service evangelism. Um, I would even argue financially, um, but you have that responsibility and we're not doing a good job of communicating that we're telling them get in the water, get baptized. And like you saying, Jack, you're on the JV squad until you hit, you know, 25 or 30. And I think that's just an enormous issue when you consider that's the message that we are uh, maybe by osmosis sending to young one, people. One of my big issues, and you guys have heard me rant about it. I've written about it. I mean, it's just a bunch out there is how consumeristic modern Christianity is and how most people aren't church members, they're church customers. I come yeah. for what you can give me. And and when you take somebody, baptize them at 14 years old, and as you said earlier, just kind of, hey, keep coming. We're going to you know do stuff for you. Here's some stuff that you might enjoy. Hey, here's some learning opportunities. And I'm not saying it's all bad. I'm not saying it's all laser tags, pizza, any of those things. But your your spiritual feeding you come to us you do that you know just keep coming keep coming keep coming and we'll 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 keep it we'll keep feeding you uh without the expectation why do you think we have so many consumeristic christians because they were baptized into consumeristic christianity and so yeah. as, as we talked about like what can this be if it can be something to teach people uh, you know teach young people post baptism uh, to disciple them into service into you know, fulfilling your role of, of what every joint supplies. Uh, I'm going to make another book plug for one I didn't write. There's a, a book a few years ago. Um, I apologize if I get the name wrong. I think it was Philip Jenkins. Uh, the book was called The Lunch Ladies. And he was talking about how his youth group, he had groups of kids that he, that he would train and that, you know, he would ask them to come early and just teach them, hey, if you see a visitor, go sit by them. If you, you know, go figure, you know, go pray with people, go invite people, bring people in. And was teaching these kids to be the church. Uh, it, was, it was a really good book. And, and That's cool. Again, it was it's really cool. this thing of you got baptized. Your job is not to just sit here until we need yeah. you. Your job is get to work and here's how we're going to do it. But your point about what time, at what point do they get to be full time church or like full church members? speaks to exactly what you just said. Do we know what that even means from an adult's perspective? If they're looking yeah. ahead and seeing the consumeristic adult, if you as a parent are, are in that consumeristic mindset, what are we leading our kids to? What are they going to be more consumeristic? And if, if they're going to look for their personal fulfillment in church, they'll look for their personal fulfillment outside of church. And I think that's why we're losing three quarters of the kids that, that we have is we're not winning them to Christ as much as the baptism is about staying out of hell. And the church is about what it can provide for them. And so there's or no socialization. Yeah. Right. And and there's no loyalty to the church, to, to the, you know, the 80 year olds in the church that you're going to rise up and take their place. And, and like, we're not teaching that to our youth because it goes back to your point. Well, our expectations, in my opinion, are unbelievably low.